To develop this report, the Art Department compiled what students learn, how students learn, and how assessment is used in art throughout our section areas. After gathering this information, we compared and contrasted different sections as a department. We collaboratively considered school-wide vertical alignment throughout our program, changing core art standards and potential areas of improvement. Our existing art curriculum is based on the National Art Education Association National Core Art Standards. These standards have changed during the 2014 and 2015 school year and the art department has been discussing the impact of these changes and are planning to update these standards to our existing curriculum. In the elementary school, students are learning about the world and themselves through art. Throughout all grade levels, the art program provides activities in drawing, painting, sculpture, printmaking, and crafts. They are learning about different artists, art movements, and cultures. Concepts are taught through activities based on the elements of art, line, shape, form, texture, space, color, and value. They use a variety of materials using the appropriate materials and tools in a safe and responsible manner. The art instruction lends itself to integrating with other subject areas. As teachers collaborate with each other to support the curriculum, the students make connections between the visual arts and other disciplines. In middle school, students have the opportunity to explore 2D, 3D, and lens-based media through projects related to their social studies and language arts classes. This cross-discipline approach allows students to develop their fine motor skills while enhancing their understanding of world cultures. The, class, the art classes expand on the elementary foundations and develop a more sophisticated aesthetic judgment creative strategies, and habits of mind through an artistic practice. Photography classes are offered in all grade levels. Yearbook and publication classes are offered to 8th graders, and layout and design techniques are taught and applied. Broadcasting class offers a grounding understanding of video editing, pre-production, production, and post. In high school, students continue to build on prior knowledge and experience developed through study at the elementary and middle school levels. The curriculum provides opportunities for students to express themselves through art production, creative problem solving, recognizing the role and importance of art and artists in society, and skills building in various mediums. Students focus on the art elements and principles of design to base learning and final outcomes. All art students are given the opportunity to express themselves creatively and also take part in many other collaborative efforts that contribute to the artistic and personal development. In the 11th and 12th grade, students may enroll in the International Baccalaureate Visual Arts course either at the Diploma Program or Certificate Program. The aims of the Visual Arts course at either of the standard level or higher level enable students to enjoy lifelong engagement in the arts, become informed, reflective, and critical practitioners in the arts, understand the dynamic and changing natures of the arts, explore and, and value the diversity of the arts across time, place, and cultures, and express ideas with confidence and competence, also developing perceptual and analytical skills. Program Strengths the IB Visual Arts scores are well above the world average for the past six years, confirming the high quality of the art department's curriculum, instruction, and student work. We maintain a working exhibition gallery that enables us to recognize our students' talents, inspire others, and helps to build a positive culture for the school and community. In art classes, our students make connections between the visual arts and other disciplines. We provide opportunities for the students to participate in school-wide and community projects. The Artist in Residency program allows our students to work intensively with a wide range of artists. This helps to increase the awareness of the role of the artist and the arts in society. of growth. We need to increase communication between sections to foster vertical alignment. 
Update curriculum maps to align with new National Core Art Standards. Middle school is not a requirement. Increase exposure to a variety of different art making and conceptual art forms. Increase exposure to master and contemporary artists and take advantage of local cultural resources to educate and provide exhibition opportunities for students. The art department is recommending the following proposed changes. Update the current standards to the new National Core Art Standards for the upcoming year. To help vertically align and add consistency throughout the sections, we recommend that the art that art become a requirement in the middle school. We would like to purchase a subscription to Scholastic Arts Magazine to help increase student exposure to both master and contemporary artists. We would like to purchase a durable etching printing press for the high school, which will help us to offer additional art forms, and to purchase a front-loading kiln for all preschool to, to, to grade 12 classes to share. A front-loading kiln would ease the stress placed on the existing top-loading kiln and, and will help to manage the large amount of ceramic pieces being created at RIS. The Visual Arts Department strives to develop visually literate citizens with visual arts knowledge, skills, and habits of mind. We try to guide our students through our visual world by using two main processes creative expression and critical response. When working on projects, students are brainstorming ideas, researching artists and artwork, experimenting with media, reflecting, refining, and showcasing their art. Our students are learning art through a variety of learning methods. They learn through collaboration, hands-on activities, and technology integration. Recommended proposed changes. Increase the use of technology by purchasing iPads for each art teacher to enhance teaching and learning. Provide digital cameras for the photography teachers so that they can use throughout the whole year. Improve high school ceramics facilities by enclosing the studio and installing air conditioning. A variety of assessments are used by the art department. Most of the time, performance-based assessments are used. However, ongoing formative assessments occur on a regular basis. Teachers provide consistent feedback to students throughout the course of the project. Rubrics provide feedback to students about their work in specific areas. Students demonstrate a visual understanding of the content through the creation of their artwork and demonstrate a verbal understanding by presenting their artwork in small to large group critiques. Recommended proposed changes. Increase use of multiple forms of assessment. Allow time for students to make improvements to work after feedback and assessment. Provide more group critiques throughout the year. Student and teachers need to review the rubric before and upon completion of the art project. Teachers need to use the assessments to reflect and redirect instruction and increase the use of technology to enhance teaching and learning.